Hello, Tab Nation. It's Tom here today doing more of a kind of like a showcase uh, type situation here with two programs that I think are very helpful. I use them a lot at my job and also for my YouTube channel. Uh, a lot of times at work, um, I have a bunch of templates I have to use. And same with my YouTube channel. When I go to upload a video and I have my description that I have to write out, there's a few lines in there that I like to always add. And originally I was putting in uh, these different uh, templates I'm using into separate files. And, you know, I have to find the file I want, open it, copy and paste it over. Um, so I figured there, there had to be a little bit of a better way to do this. So I'm not sure if this is, uh, I'm sure there's other programs around here, but uh, this one's pretty universal. You can use it across, you know, Outlook, uh, YouTube, whatever it is. Um, so yeah, we're going to showcase you that one first and then i got another one coming up uh involving google translate that i use quite a bit too all right so i'm gonna go ahead and run this one so i have created a folder here uh, you can call it whatever you want this is where i put the script uh, this is also where the contents are going to be saved that you'll see here shortly so I'm gonna push F1, that's my hotkey. Obviously you can change it to whatever you want. Um, that just opens this GUI right here. So the first thing when it, before the GUI even like opens, it's actually clearing out that variable list, which is being created down here in these columns here. It's gonna loop through that, uh, uh, the directory. Um, so I also have that set working directory, which just means, uh, just use the file path of where the actual script ran from um, so it just makes it easier obviously if you want you can you know specify to have this go to like your documents folder or something different uh, but i like doing keeping everything in one spot uh, so it's going to loop through it's going to read every file that's in there obviously the only file in there right now is the script it's going to split up each of those things looking just for the file number here and here's where it starts creating that variable list. So it's grabbing all those. It's uh, adding, uh, as you can see, these little uh, brackets here. The reason that is because I'm using a drop-down list down here. So normally uh, the drop-down list would have a uh, kind of like this. So you could be like uh, item 1 and then item two, and so on and so forth, but I'm using a variable here. So that up here is just kind of creating that for me. Uh, next thing, uh, we're just doing like string replace here. It's uh, getting rid of the two brackets to one, uh, change one. This basically is just setting uh, the default item in that dropdown. Because normally if I didn't do this, uh, the dropdown would be blank starting off, but I figured it'd be kind of nice to just have it on the first template. Because if I'm using the first template, hey, that's one less click I have to do. So that kind of I thought was uh, nice. Uh, you can always change that up or delete this line if you want. Um, obviously, I don't want the script name to be in there. Uh, I don't want the actual auto hotkey file. So these two lines are just getting rid of that. There's the, uh, the one with the uh, bracket here at the end and one without. Uh, yeah. Just so that doesn't show up, there's no point, obviously, to display my script in there. I only want to see the templates, so yeah. Uh, won't really explain the GUI. You know, I've done plenty of videos on that. But, yeah, here's what the GUI looks like. So you come in, pick your template. Obviously, I have none, so that's fine. Um, so we're going to go ahead and create a new one. And uh, that's going to happen another GUI here. Uh, it starts out with, like, an example here uh i'll probably delete that there's no point in that um so i can write out my uh, first uh template here i'm gonna just be like hello mister and then maybe i want to have a place where i can fill out a blank there so i'm just gonna put that there how was today on the you know maybe i want to put a date here the fifth or something a uh, question mark so obviously my templates are usually going to be a lot longer than this, um, but we're just going to keep it short and sweet for this one. Uh, what do I want to name it? I'm just going to name it test one intro. Why not? 
Uh, yeah, so I'm going to push save. And it takes me back to the main GUI. And now if I go to the drop down, there is my uh, test one intro right there. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to push copy to clipboard. And then let's just open up a new thing here. I'm going to do control V. And there's my script. So it's just a nice fast way to do that. And then I can you know, add more. Or if I want to edit, maybe I changed my mind. I want to change this up a little bit. Or I want to delete it. And push that. Find the one I want to edit or delete. Push load. So it loads up that. And then I can push delete, which will just delete it. Or I can edit it. To, uh, let's say, uh, let's add another line. Uh, call me back now or else. So yeah, looks good. I'm going to go ahead and push save. Uh, copy to clipboard. Let's go ahead and delete that and push control V. And there's my new script. And so, like I said, it was all being saved uh, into that file. So there's the uh, test one intro there. And you can add as many as you want. Uh, you know, I, I use this a lot. I just kind of made it. Uh, this is my first version. So if you guys have any recommendations on something I can improve on this, add to it, maybe clean it up somehow, definitely let me know. I'm going to include this uh, code in the description below but i'm also going to include a link to the executable that way if anybody just kind of wants to download this real quick and start using it i'll just throw it on my google drive and hopefully you can access it if you're using it for work you know i know id can be a little tricky on that kind of stuff but yeah all right let's uh go on to the next one which is a google translate script that i did uh do -do -do, where did i put that there it is all right, I'm going to go ahead and find something in another language. So I'm going to open Google Translate and just grab some text here real quick. And while I do that, just want to let you guys know you should definitely hit that subscribe button. I'm showing you guys lots of stuff that automates uh, your video games, your job, or just your life and personal. So yeah, uh, let's see, what do I want to say? Uh, Bear with me here a second. That should be good enough. And obviously we don't want to go to, back to English. We want to go to... Uh, do, 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 do. I don't know. What's one I recognize here? Irish? Don't Irish? Ah, uh, Chinese? I'm not sure how that would work. Let's use Turkish. All right, so now we got some uh, Turkish language there. Let's post that into a notepad. Sorry if my typing's a little off here. It's kind of hard to see my uh, keyboard with my microphone in the way. All right, so there's our uh, Turkish language there. Um, so this one, I'm not going to really run through this because this one's uh, pretty complicated. There's a lot of going on here, and this is more of a showcase. But as you see, there's about 113 lines. Uh, the cool thing here is you're blending in not just auto hotkeys, but you're doing, uh, you can see some other stuff here. You got some JSON going on. Uh, you know, it's kept connecting to the API through uh, yeah, Google Translate's uh, API. Um, if anything goes wrong, uh, let me know because every time they update it, sometimes this can get a little wonky. Uh, but just a heads up too, if you are not translating English, maybe you're uh, watching this in another language and you want to translate from your nationality to you know whatever, uh, that is adjustable in the code. Where is that? Right here. Um, so from auto to English. So I'm translating to English. Obviously, if you're translating to something else, you're just going to translate right here or uh, change that uh, to whatever the abbreviations in Google Translate are. Uh, so EN is English. Uh, I'll try to find a list of all those, and I can uh, link those in the description below. Hopefully, I find that. Let's go ahead and try that. Google Translate. 
No, it's on here somewhere. There it is. I got too many scripts. All right. Um, the other thing I forgot to mention is uh, my hotkey here I'm using is also F1. Uh, it's just kind of clearing up my cl clipboard just to be safe. Uh, Control C, so I'm going to highlight that text. It's going to copy it. That's going to sleep real quick, uh, both here and there. That's just kind of a way to give it a few seconds to uh, for the system to do its thing. Because uh, connecting to Google Translate can take a few seconds. So if your internet's really crappy, you might need to go a little higher than three seconds here or 300 milliseconds. You might need to change it a little higher. Um, and it's going to basically jump down here, do that like next 100 lines of code. Jump back up here where it's going to display a GUI with my information. Yeah, let's do that. All right, we're going to go ahead and highlight the language here. I'm going to push F1. Takes about three seconds, like I said. And there we go. We got this little GUI that popped up, and there is my translated text into English. Now, obviously, if you want to really take this a step farther, obviously, uh, I only speak English. Uh, so I don't really have a need to constantly switch between different languages that I'm translating to. But if you are, you could always add some sort of, uh, you know, maybe input box up here that's asking what language are you trying to translate to. You put in E in, push enter, and then down here you can just put a variable instead of having it like hard coded there. So if you need to make that change, definitely do that. All right, guys, if you had any questions about the Google Translate one, definitely let me know and I'll try to help you out. All right, guys, see you on the next one. Thank you.